Hey y'all, welcome back to another vlog. Today is Thursday and I actually got ready for the day already, but I don't know why I did that because I'm not going anywhere today. I mean, look at my hair. It's very much nappy, but that's okay because we happy to be nappy around here. It's okay, it's fine. I wanted to kind of show y'all like how far we got within the past couple of days. My mom has only worked on my hair once and I just wanted to show y'all like <laughs> what it's looking like. So while I was getting ready, I was just listening to some Dave Ramsey. I love this channel. I'm subscribed to the Ramsey show, but like the highlights version. There is like a main channel that has like the longer interviews, but I just like to watch the highlights of like the crazy stories of like $100,000 in debt and only making $35,000 a year. Like I just, I'm so interested in this. So I was listening to that while I was doing my makeup. But yeah, like I said, just got done getting ready. Haven't done anything for the day. But I need to, hold on, my dad is calling me. I actually missed the call, so let me call him back to see if he answers. Big Body Benz, I used to be Dusty. It's What's up? It, no, it's a Big Body Benz member, I used to be Dusty. Oh, fine, fine. What you doing? Okay. Hey, food, what you doing? Nothing. I have nothing to do today. <laughs> we got nothing to do today. You sure took a while and said good morning back. Well, I didn't see your text message until earlier. I mean, until a, a lot later. Nothing much today. I'm off today and then have to go what? to work. Yes, and then I have to go to work this weekend. So you're off all day, but you got to work Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I don't have to work on Sunday, but I have to work Friday and Saturday. Friday and Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> So my dad called and kind of got me a little bit distracted. I forgot what I was talking about or what I was saying. That man is truly the most hilarious human being on this earth. But I feel like I need to give y'all a little hair update because I've been posting my vlogs about my whole hair crisis that's been going on way out of order. So let me just kind of give you a little recap because I've posted like three or four vlogs already. So I've been trying to like post like a saga almost like I want all the videos to be like hair related because it's just gonna make a lot more sense because it's actually happening in real time so last week was it last week I'm forgetting the week before last week on Monday I went to a loctician and I went to the whole consultation all that stuff Thursday I went back to her in this video I pretty much just explained everything from like what she said what went down she had to cut some that she couldn't save blah 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 the whole thing is in that vlog so I really recommend that y'all go watch that because I'm getting confused on what happened and what vlog on my which day in those vlogs I believe I put the date on there so anyways I'm kind of getting on a tangent here but I decided not to start my lock journey over a lot of y'all were kind of going ham in the comments and it's not her fault that was just a suggestion that she gave me it wasn't like her telling me we're gonna cut your hair out and we're gonna start over and that's the only option that you have she gave me two options one of the options were that I could start over if I wanted to and that that was what another person had recommended to her because she was sending pictures of my hair to another person that's been in the sister locks game for like six years and she suggested that they just cut it out and just start over because i have like four or five inches of new growth but obviously that's not what i wanted to do i came home on thursday talked to my mom about it and my mom's like look let me try let me just see what i can do and so she did like a row in the back i think i showed y'all already yesterday actually on wednesday i posted this video which was her interlocking a couple of rows that took us about two hours to do now we did take a break because my grandma came over and kind of like talked to us a little bit and she was like looking at all of the new things that's going on with the house because if y'all have been following for a while then you know that in february my mom started like this whole renovation thing for our house so grammy wanted to just come over and look at like all the new things and i will show y'all the new things in this video but first i just wanted to show y'all a little update of what the back of my hair is looking like because the loctician did some of my hair and then my mom did like the ones up here let me just get to showing you because i know it's probably a little bit confusing and i know that i'm talking a lot i'm just i have a hurricane going on in my mind <laughs> okay this is how long my hair is in the back of course it is different lengths everywhere because before i started 
my locks i cut my hair because i thought that i knew what i was doing but i didn't so my hair is a little bit uneven in some places um, so far we haven't really done that much it's probably going to be really hard for me to show y'all because i cannot see i'm just going to turn around and just show you the back so um this is a example of a lock that a loctician restarted you see how short it is hopefully y'all can see that this is what my loctician did all of this back here it looks good it looks way better than it did before she started this is a little baby lock that we had to restart and then this is an example of another lock that she just interlocked and my mom has like a different method whenever she does my hair she likes to do it in quadrants so she'll do this 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 and then the back normally Whereas like my loctician was going more so in like a horizontal row, which makes more sense to me. But my mom's brain doesn't really work like that, doing it from across. Because to her, it looks like more daunting that way. And it looks easier when you're just like, okay, I'm just going to do this right here. And then I'm going to do this right here another day. And then I'm going to do this. And then I'm going to do this. See, my brain doesn't really work like that either. So I, I like going across because it's kind of like you're getting everything done on the same page instead of like this quadrant being done before this quadrant i don't know i spent way too much time talking about that but i just had to share that with y'all so i'm gonna show you what my mom has done hopefully hopefully i can at least because like she started it in a weird spot like way in the middle i think y'all should be able to see it right here so my mom has done like a couple of rows of this and she did interlock like four to five inches of new growth um if you want to see a more look at my hair oh my goodness if you want to see a more up close view of what my mom did i will link the video of her retightening that little section down below in the comments she was really taking her time and undoing the damage that i caused by not retying my locks in a really long time so if you want to see or if you just need some motivation my mom is kind of proven that it can be done but it is very time consuming and there's no way I would want to put this off on a loctician who has other clients like my mom does not do hair or anything like that so we're just kind of taking it day by day um again still send out your prayers because we don't know if this is going to work for my whole head but what she's working on right now is like the worst section this little middle part on both sides this is the worst and then the front is going to be a breeze to get done because that has been maintained pretty i don't want to say pretty well but a little bit better that's where we're at with the hair update continue to pray continue to send encouraging messages because we could sure use it it feels like we're never gonna get done but i think maybe hopefully before the month of april ends hopefully we'll be able to get done and hopefully we won't have to cut out too much hopefully we can kind of just keep my hair intact overall but i will of course keep y'all updated on everything and the whole process So I am really a creature of habit, y'all. I don't typically enjoy trying new things all the time, but today I want to try out this new tea because in a couple of vlogs back, I mentioned that I wanted to try out like coffee creamer in my tea. Long story short, I tried it and I hated it, but a lot of y'all were saying that I need to try the creamer in certain teas. And one of the teas that I think that y'all were telling me to try it with was like the black tea. So I have some of those. In here. Nope, not in there. I have some in here in this little drawer. Oh, and by the way, we got our knobs for the pantry. So all of the knobs are on our little cabinets. So it looks really nice. We went with the gold. These are what they look like. The guys came the other day and like put this in and installed it. But anyways, back to the tea. This is the tea that I tried it with before. This is my favorite tea of all time. This mint melody. Melody is actually mint medley. Y'all, for years, I'm talking about since I was like 12 years old, I always been calling this mint melody. Like melody, like a song. But it's medley. I'm just now realizing that. But anyways, this is my all time favorite tea. And it tastes so good. Like with some honey, it's really good and refreshing. I have this pretty much almost every morning. But I also have these teas that I haven't really tried. I've only tried one and I didn't really like it. But these are like the black teas. And a lot of y'all were saying that the coffee creamer and black teas are good. So I want to try one of these. I don't really know which one to pick though because we have a lot of different flavors. So we have one, two, 
three, four different flavors of this Taylor's tea. Lemon and orange, which is not something that I really typically go for. Earl Grey tea. And then we also have this one, which says it's a Assam. Strong and malty black tea. Not really sure if I should go for that one. And then we also have this decaffeinated breakfast tea. It says that it's a bright and refreshing black tea. I think that this is the one that I want to go with. It just sounds the least disgusting to me. So <laughs> this is the one that I'm going to go with. I really want to give this a fair chance. I want to add the creamer in there and see how that tastes, but I also want to taste it on its own because that mint medley tea that I got in there tastes incredible by itself. You don't even need honey or anything like that in it. So let's go ahead and give this decaffeinated breakfast tea a taste. It actually smells okay. It smells like it could be good. Let's see. Wow, that's not that bad. That's very good. I bet you with some honey, this would be good. Maybe not better than my mint medley tea, but probably just as good. But just to be fair, I do want to go ahead and try it with the creamer. So this is the coffee creamer that I'm going to be using. It's just the French Vanilla by Coffee Mate. The pretty basic one that everybody uses. That's what I'm going to be using today. Let's see. I'm just going to add a little bit. Okay, let's give it a stir. It looks gross now though. This is what the tea is looking like now. It looks disgusting, but let's give it a try. I said that I would. Wait a minute. That's actually really good. Yes, I'm liking this. Really good, it just looks nasty. Maybe next time I'll make it in a, a mug that's not clear so that you can't really see it that well. <laughs> because it looks like something gross, but actually tastes pretty good. I can't remember if I gave y'all a proper look at what the tea was, but it's this Taylor's Decaffeinated Breakfast Tea, and it is the Bright and Refreshing Black Tea. I actually would drink this by itself. Oh, you're supposed to let it like steep for four to five minutes. I didn't do that, but I bet you if I did, it would be even better. So I actually plan on going to my boyfriend's cousin's baby shower and i'm trying to figure out like what to wear he let me know like in advance because he knows how anxious i get i've never been to a baby shower before y'all i know that sounds crazy but i've never been to one before so i don't really know what i should wear i have these options right here i have four options and i'm going to try them on for y'all and i need you to comment outfit number one outfit number two outfit number three or outfit number four because i need help and i just i really trust y'all's opinion let's do this try on haul real quick well it's not really a haul because I had all this stuff already but still I really don't want to go out and buy anything new y'all know that I am a college student I'm on a debt-free degree journey and I don't want to spend any unnecessary money so if any of these things are cute and appropriate for a baby shower let me know I have three dresses and one romper this is the first dress it actually still has a tag on it but I haven't worn it yet I got this from Nordstrom rack but it's been a while since I bought this I think I bought this like in the winter time when it was on sale because you know the dresses and stuff like that in the winter be on sale so I got this dress it's just like a floral printed dress and it has like this under wiring like in the chest area which I think is really cute nude ish color and it has some flowers on it. I thought that this would be cute for a baby shower. I don't know. Let's see. Let me try it on real quick. Okay, so this is the dress on. I don't think that it's supposed to be off the shoulder. But wouldn't this be so cute if it was supposed to be off the shoulder? But it's not supposed to be. I think it's just supposed to be like this. It comes like a pretty decent length. Like just above my knee. So I'm not like inappropriate in front of the family or whatever. Let me know. What y'all think in the comments? So this will be outfit number one. The only thing though that I don't really like about it is that the arms are like a little bit too big for me. But like the dress part fits, but the arms are just like really super like extra loose. Like I wish it was just like a little bit more tighter. And then also in the chest area, it's like a little bit loose as you can see because I don't really have a lot 
going on up here. I don't know. It doesn't really look bad though. I think I can get away with it, but it's just something that I noticed about the dress and it's actually like double layered extra layer underneath the sheer part so that you won't be like exposing yourself or whatever but i think that it's really nice and i think that it's cute the other dress that i have i've had this for a while y'all but i think i got this in january of last year like january of 2021 don't remember where i got this from probably got this from nordstrom rack because nordstrom rack has a lot of cute dresses and they have a really big size range from extra small all the way into like extra large or probably 3x i think i've seen 3x there before this is what the dress looks like it kind of looks like a vacation type of dress like i look at this and i think walking through mexico i don't know this just gives me like latin vibes kind of a little bit it's white with these hot pink flowers this is what the dress looks like on it's a little bit shorter than i thought this little layer of the dress is not as thick as i would like i think that it's cute still but it's just a little big it is a size small normally i'm a medium so i don't really know what's going on it's just a little loose this is option number three this is a jumpsuit so as you can see i'm really screaming at you with this color i love the way that this fits it fits perfectly on me the only thing is that the color i'm not a humongous fan of i don't want to draw too much attention with the color but this is the next one i think i got this from like an online shop if y'all have been watching my channel for at least a year, I think last summer I did a haul. A company actually sent me this jumpsuit. I'm going to try to link this jumpsuit down below along with the code. Super cute, off the shoulder, not doing too much. Little tie right here. These are pants. There are no pockets, unfortunately, but if there were, it would really set this off. I probably would wear this with some sandals. And this bag, this is my favorite purse ever, my Michael Kors bag. So, just kind of imagine, what are we thinking? I have one more dress to show y'all. And this dress is actually white. I think I got this one from an online shop as well, but I forgot where I got this from. It's just a white long sleeve lace dress. Very pretty, very summery. And in the back, it's kind of open. My only thing about this dress is this dress just gives me like wedding vibes do you see what i'm saying simple and elegant from the front but in the back of the dress it's open and i'm obviously not wearing the right undergarments y'all i would not wear this bra with it it has like these little strings hanging in the back i think that that makes it look a little bit less bridal and like more casual a little bit more casual i guess i don't know is this one too formal you can be honest let me know what you think in the comments so the other day i went to cvs to pick up some makeup i only got like a couple of things because i want to create a emergency kit for my car like with deodorant and like hairspray makeup just all the things that i use to get ready at home i want to have that on the go just in case so first thing that i picked up is this blush from milani and it is in the shade cheek kiss I think that it's a really pretty pink color. This is the color blush that I love to use. Like these really rosy pinks that look good on brown skin and dark skin. This blush is actually like a cream blush. It's not a powder, which I found to be really nice for on the go. Because if y'all don't know, if you've ever dropped or broken a powdered product, it gets everywhere. So I was looking for a cream blush. That's what it looks like on the back of my hand. So I'm going to be putting all of my emergency kit essentials in this little pouch it just says it used to be my cup of tea but i drink champagne now it's really cute i've had this for a while i think i've had this in high school actually and i also have like a couple of tampons in here too i have three more products to show y'all the one of them is this concealer because i hear a lot of people talk about it so i just had to get it and try it out y'all know i have trouble picking my shade so so i actually did my makeup today with all the stuff that i'm about to show y'all do y'all think that this matches me is this a good match i tried my best without like opening the products and testing it out because it's a drugstore so they don't really have a tester this is the la girl pro concealer that i'm sure a lot of y'all have heard of because this la girl brand just seems to go crazy in stores like cvs and walgreens and stuff like that so this is what it looks like la girl pro concealer and I got it in the shade Fawn. It's a little yellow. Like I find a hard time finding my undertone at different stores whenever I try to match myself. Because I've gotten like 
different comments some people say i have a yellow undertone some people say i have a neutral undertone like not yellow or red i've never gotten that i have a red undertone so i try to stay pretty neutral but whenever i swatch this like on my skin doesn't that look kind of yellow or is it just me like am i just not know what i'm talking about because that could very well be it too i also went ahead and went for this product that's really popular this is the l'oreal infallible infalli infallible 24 hour fresh wear foundation in a powder so this is a powder foundation y'all know i don't really wear like liquid foundation so i try to go for powdered foundation this one is in the shade hazelnut i was looking for it it's written like really tiny at the bottom but this is in the shade hazelnut and i tried to just match it with my other powdered foundations that I've actually gotten matched for. I have two other powdered foundations, so I'm realizing that I didn't need to buy this one because I forgot that I had this Fenty one. This is the one that I chose on my own. This is the one that I actually went to Ulta to get matched for. So I think I did pretty good. It matches pretty well, I think. So this is the one that I went to Sephora to get matched for, and this is the one that I chose. And then the last thing that I got, lipstick. And this is the color. I think that it was really pretty. I have it on right now. I actually mixed it, so this is not the only color on my lips. But I have, like, my brown lip liner on. And then I put this on and a gloss on top. Isn't this so pretty? This is in the shade More Taupe. And I'm going to put this in here. Because I always have, like, an extra lip gloss in the car with me. But I don't have, like, all of my other products. So I just wanted to kind of add that to my emergency kit. I stepped out of the sun so that y'all can kind of see what the concealer and the blush looks like. But that's going to be it for today's vlog. I really hope that y'all enjoyed it. As y'all can see, I'm really not doing much today. But I just thought that I would pick up the camera anyway because my favorite vlogs to watch are the ones that have no plot, no story, no nothing. It's just you chilling at home. I love to watch other people chill at home and not do anything. Those are my favorite videos on YouTube. Hopefully my mom has time today to do more of my hair. If she does, then I'll make another little time lapse video. Again, I'll have that one linked down below if you want to watch it. Her retying like four inches of new growth. Um, yeah, it's pretty bad, but I'll talk to y'all in my next vlog. Don't forget to like this video if you liked it. Make sure that you comment down below which outfit you like for the baby shower. Outfit number one, two, three, or four. And share my videos with anybody that you think would like it. Thank you so much for 23,000 subscribers. I woke up to that this morning. That's amazing. We are on the road to 30,000 and then 50 and then 40 and then just keep on growing and growing. So I appreciate y'all's support. I'll talk to y'all in my next vlog and I'm out.